want to make a similar stop motion effect for yourself for a five second clip you have to take 120 pictures you have to move the camera and yourself between every shot and try to stay the exact same distance away from the camera once you have the 120 pictures you simply import it into your editing software you can use any software it doesn't make a difference and then you simply drop the files onto the timeline and then we need to select them all and we will change the duration of the images and what we're going to do is we set one frame for every image so that way because we have 120 images that will come to 24 frames for 5 seconds 24 times 5 equals 120 and that will play back very smoothly just like this but there's actually a few things we can do to further improve the video clip let me show you real quick here so we select all the images and we make one clip out of the 120 pictures once we've done that we can simply reverse the whole video clip and it makes the movement looks a lot more natural because you move forward rather than backwards and the next thing we're going to do is we are going to reframe every single shot to keep my head in the middle it will make the movement a lot more natural looking and it will improve the clip big time so first to do this we need the horizontal line set on and then we need to zoom in a little bit scale all because when you move the image up or down or left right then you don't want the black line to show up so we click on the transform button on the left and then set the first frame put my head right in the middle and my eyes and then you need to remember the eyes exactly because those are the most important thing you set a creep frame and then with the right arrow you go one by one through every single picture and then you move the picture slightly to keep the eye in the center in the same height and then you have to do this for all 120 frames and so spit it up a little bit and then once you've finished you can check the playback you can use a full screen to do this you don't have to work on a small screen and using the back and forward arrow you can always check if the frame is centered every time and look at the results a lot lot better than what it was first time finally there's one more thing left to do you can select the whole clip and then you can color grade the whole video clip in one go you want to select uh, the images where it's like the brightest usually or the ones that you that need to be fixed most and then you do the color grading process and then this is the final clip you get.